Hi friends, Steve here at Forest Lawn in Glendale, California. Once again, I mean there are hundreds if not thousands of famous people buried here, so I'm here a lot. And today I'm here on the side of the hill, standing behind this tree because it's a, a bit windy here, I'm trying to shelter my microphone so you can actually hear me without all the wind noise. I'm here at the gravesite of William Demarest, who played Uncle Charlie on My Three Sons. Who remembers that classic TV show? Did you watch it as a kid? I know I did. I have, um, I have five brothers. There were a lot of similarities between my uh, family and uh, My Three Sons, so we watched it for years. Now, I just happened to see an episode the other day on MeTV, and it got me wondering, where Uncle Charlie was buried. I have visited Fred McMurray at his uh, final resting place and haven't uploaded it yet. And I visited William Frawley at his final resting place. So I thought, well, let me stop by and see uh, if I can find uh, William Demarest's final resting place. And I thought if I could, then I would go ahead and uh, do a My Three Sons vlog. Thanks for joining me on another trip to visit the most memorable cemeteries, memorials, and grave sites. To find William Demarest's grave site is pretty easy. You drive in through the front gates and head up the hill till it almost dead ends. And then you either have to make a left or a right hand turn. You make a right hand turn, continue up the hill until you see the Ned Doheny Jr. Memorial right at the corner of the sunny slope section. It's a pretty impressive structure and it's right across the street from the great mausoleum. Doheny was the son of an oil tycoon and the owner of Greystone Mansion, also known as Doheny Mansion just off of Sunset Boulevard in Beverly Hills. Doheny was shot and killed in the mansion on February 16, 1929, at the age of 36. It's long been believed that the perpetrator was Doheny's longtime personal friend and aide, Hugh Plunkett, who apparently then took his own life. Plunkett is buried between the memorial and William Demarest's gravesite. There are many different theories about what really happened that night but after all of these years, it's likely to remain one of Hollywood's biggest murder mystery scandals. Actor William Demarest was born February 27, 1892, in St. Paul, Minnesota. He died December 27, 1983, in Palm Springs, California, where I live. He died at the age of 91, presumably from natural causes. He appeared in nearly 150 movies during his long career, and in 215 episodes, of My Three Sons. My Three Sons was one of the most popular and long-running TV sitcoms of all time. It aired from 1960 to 1972. The original live-in housekeeper was the boy's grandfather, Bub, played by actor William Frawley. When Frawley left the show in 1965, Demarest took his place. Demarest's character was Bub's brother, Uncle Charlie. William Frawley is buried about a half hour away at the San Fernando Mission Cemetery in Mission Hills, California. Frawley was born February 26, 1887 in Burlington, Ohio and died March 3, 1966 from a heart attack in Hollywood at the age of 79. He appeared in more than 100 movies during his long career and his role as Bub was certainly memorable but I think most of us will probably always best remember him as Fred Mertz on I Love Lucy from 1951 to 1957. As you can see, his final resting place is just inside the gates to the left in Section C, and it does have a GPS to make it a little bit easier to find. According to his Wikipedia page, the executive producer of My Three Sons, Don Federson, and Fred McMurray were both pallbearers at his funeral. And speaking of the star of the show, Fred McMurray, He's laid to rest at Holy Cross Cemetery in Culver City, California. To find his final resting place, you enter through the gates and head up the hill to the mausoleum at the top of the hill. It's very impressive and very hard to miss. It's a very large mausoleum, but just inside the front doors is a map to help you navigate. McMurray's Crypt is pretty easy to find. You just make a right-hand turn once you're inside the front door and continue down the hallway, make another right, then a left, and then it's just a short distance down the hallway on your right-hand side. I actually found it by accident 
while I was looking for someone else's crypt, and I also had no idea that actor John Candy was interred here in the same wall, just two crypts above Fred McMurray's. It really makes me wonder if this was on purpose or if this was just a coincidence. As I've said before, I think something like this would be a pretty big coincidence since there are hundreds, if not thousands, of crypts here in this mausoleum. Comedian and actor John Candy died at the young age of 43 in Durango, Mexico while filming on March 4th, 1994. He died in his sleep, apparently from a myocardial infarction. He appeared in more than 40 movies in his short career and in dozens of TV shows, including Second City TV, SCTV, and Camp Candy. Candy died just two and a half years after McMurray, and I'm just guessing he must have been a fan, and that's why he or his family chose this location. McMurray was born August 30th, 1908, in Kankakee, Illinois, and died November 5th, 1991, in Santa Monica, California. He died from pneumonia at the age of 83. During his very long career, he appeared in more than 100 movies, a few of them Disney classics. But he's probably best remembered, at least to TV fans, for his role as Stephen Douglas, the widowed father of three boys, on My Three Sons. He appeared in 380 episodes of the show. And as you can see, he's interred here with his wife, actress June Haver. Haver was born June 10, 1926, in Rock Island, Illinois, and died July 4, 2005, in Brentwood, California. She died at the age of 79 from respiratory failure. An actress, singer, and dancer, she appeared in more than a dozen movies. How many of you are familiar with June Haver and have seen her movies? At the beginning of the series, actor Tim Considine played the oldest son, Mike. By 1965, he had grown up, gotten married, and moved out of the house, and was written out of the show. Considine is now 78 years old. Actor and singer Don Grady played the middle son, Robbie. Grady was born June 8, 1944, in San Diego, California, and died June 27, 2012, in Thousand Oaks, California. He died from myeloma at the age of 68. His Wikipedia page says that he's laid to rest in Westlake Village at Valley Oaks Memorial Park, but his Find a Grave page says he was cremated and has no final resting place to visit. So I'm not really sure which one is accurate, and I haven't been able to locate him myself, so if any of you happen to know, please share with us in the comments section down below. And if you're a fan of the show, you'll recognize the woman in the picture here with Grady as actress Tina Cole. She played Robbie's wife on the show, and is now 76 years old. Actor Stanley Livingston, who played Chip, is now 68 years old, and his younger real-life brother, Barry Livingston, who played the adopted son, Ernie, is now 65 years old. And I'd like to say thank you to Maria Burgundy for sharing this photo with us. Her granddaughter, Ellie, died the day after Christmas on December 26, 2015, from complications of cerebral palsy at the age of seven years old. Maria says that Ellie was cremated and her ashes are interred in three different bears made out of her favorite outfits. Maria keeps her bear on her bedroom shelf. Her mother Charlotte and her aunt Sophie have the other two bears. This is the first time I've seen ashes interred in a teddy bear and I can't think of a better final resting place. Thanks Maria for sharing the memory of her granddaughter Ellie with us. So if you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do that as well. And don't forget to click the uh, bell icon if you'd like to be notified when I upload videos like this in the future. And if you like this vlog, you might also like these. So until next time, thanks for sharing the memories, everyone.